We got a lot of nasturtiums growing. They kind of took over that huge bed. I had lettuces and Swiss chard, but they pretty much demolished them. Like this is our Swiss chard, but pretty much just got outgrown by the nasturtium. We have tons of flowers to harvest, edible flowers. You put them as a garnish for your cocktails, your salads. They're pretty spicy though, got a warning, but I was wanting to sell some to some chefs, which I'm going to in the future. I was just running some tests to make sure there was not a lot of pest pressure, but surprisingly, I have more pests than all my other crops. And people say these are the plants that attract pests. So I think they actually repel pests or these ones in my area, at least. That's what I'm seeing. There's actually not that much pests um, on here compared to some of the other stuff that I'm growing. Here, I'm growing some red vein sorrel. It's like lemon spinach. It's delicious. It's pretty overgrown. Um, I prefer the baby version. It's a lot more tender and the adult one could be not as tender. <laughs> so that's the basic way to say it. Then, as we move forward, we got some cilantro that's just kind of been growing everywhere. This is a mosquito plant to prevent mosquitoes. We got some aromatic rosemary. Um, we got some lettuces that we planted, some spinach. And those are pea microgreens. We did a test in the ground and they work great just growing in the ground. So I might do more of that. We got some onions, some green onions. These ones are massive. Uh, more nasturtiums and rosemary. We got some herbs, oregano, uh, mint. More nasturtiums here. Uh, we got some more mint so if you need nasturtiums and mint let me know i have a ton of it and then here we got some kale so these big one is like a curled crispy kale green and that is some lettuce we got some onions that i need to divide up because they're bunching and then here we spread seeds we could harvest these as microgreens which i will but i'll just leave a few intermediate in the middle spaces to grow as baby kale greens but you see, it's already pretty densely planted. We have some sorrel, some baby sorrel. Like, I like this. This sorrel is actually what I like. Very small, petite. It's used to garnish a plate. But if I want it for my salad, I'll get like a, more of a leaf like this. And then, uh, just eat the leaf. Mmm. This one's lemony. We had broccoli here, but we already harvested it. Fun fact, broccoli is just the unopened flowers of the broccoli. So you see this, this is kind of a broccoli, but the main head of broccoli that we harvest and eat is the main head. This is just like a little finger of it. We don't usually use these or sell these because they're so small. Here we have our Moringa tree. Another fun fact is that you wanna cut down your Moringa tree in the winter so it can focus its energy in the roots and basically regrow in spring. They go dormant in the winter time and they grow back. Here we got some rose. So got some onions. Um, we got some more lettuces and more flowers, but we have lettuces. The flowers are probably overtaking here too, which they don't, they shouldn't. And um, oh, we even got some cilantro sprouting. I didn't think that would sprout. Yeah, just more kale and uh this is all ready to pick in the garden already so it's beautiful looking kale and more sorrel kale so a lot of lettuce mixes type of thing got like all merlot color lettuce onions kale here we have another row which is all lettuces pretty much we got some herbs that we sell also as live plants. Lemon thyme, rosemary, different mints, orange mint. And we have a lot more. Uh, but I'll show you that another day. This is how we start our lettuce seeds. We just put them in there and they grow. And yesterday we got some passion fruit vines from the local nursery. So I'll have a fun project for that soon. We're actually gonna let it grow along the tanks right there to cover the, those white tanks, those industrial looking tanks and fill it with some nice greenery. And uh, basically they grow like vines. They're not a tree. 
and these tendrils looking things they wrap and hold on to things so they're going to hold on to the poles and they're going to climb it all the way up and provide a bunch of fruit and i love passion fruit so we're gonna go from there this is all my wood chips that i use for the the gardens now hmm. sorry i'm eating kale now we have our aquaponic system which i need some need some love i recently harvested it from it recently harvest from it but we got more lettuce of course um more sorrel or aka lemon spinach more this is a we got, it starts with the l it's a type of lettuce like lapsilis lettuce lettuce but it has these squiggly leaves on purpose that's how it's supposed to look i thought it looked cool and this one i think it's just regular like a green lettuce for maine i think so wow need more kale this kale came out so good i've been eating every day from it and this is how a green onion buds so right before it flowers it does it sends out this bud and then it'll open up like a rose and give you a bunch of flowers it's gonna look beautiful and the flowers are edible they have a great flavor they're super healthy for you so more kale this is actually an aquaponic system that's soil on top cold in this bag and aquaponics on the bottom so they get fed with the soil organisms and the aquatic organisms to create a new not a new but pretty much create a better ecosystem for the plants and just have healthier plants and then what's also convenient is that i could just kind of just stick a seed and plant it and then it'll grow i might convert these into this because this doesn't need any electricity and it recycles the water so it use puts the water and then there's pipes that take it to the tank and then a pump pumps it once this for the aquaponic needs to be pumped all the time but if i had that a pump right there maybe like twice a week for 10 minutes which is really nothing compared to other electrical things um we have more kale uh this is watercress it's also another edible green it's a very peppery lettuce type green and it's delicious so i eat this one it's also known as the mineral plant in persia known for a lot of minerals and one of the healthiest things you can eat as well we have chocolate mint for your peppermint desserts chocolate brownies and beautiful chocolate garnishes more watercress uh, this was actually grown all the way to right here and it was taking over everything so was the mint the mint was growing all over here so if you can see i chopped a lot of it off and here i chopped i just started chopping away because it was getting crazy and i just started eating it um and juicing it perfect perfect for juices um, it's just basically more greens and then more greens on top a ton of bees just having the time of their life pollinating everything here are the fishes these are um like mosquito fish they pretty much just eat mosquitoes that go in there so there's no mosquitoes in there we do have to feed them fish food because they can eat up to a thousand mosquitoes a day and thanks to that i have like 20 of them they actually started breeding the fish had babies in there i didn't do anything they just had babies now there's a ton of little babies i don't know if you can see them right there like in the middle a little bit to the right these little fish right there oh there you go one just dash so those are babies they're kind of hard to see but they're tiny and they breed in there do not have a bunch of new fish and i saw a bunch of babies in here so i can only imagine how much fish i have in there so yeah that's pretty much it um for this other system it's going to be definitely some r and i'm going to build the a little planter box right here so i just have the passion fruit going here and i'm going to train it to kind of just wrap around this way and just basically go on top and completely overtake this um I want it to kind of just be looking more natural looking, nature looking. We have a bunch of mint. Mint goes crazy in aquaponics. Oh, here's another cool thing. So, I have a lettuce growing there. That one lettuce that starts with an L, right there. It's just with the weeds. And I had chia seeds, that's chia. I had basically some from last year that went to seeds. The, with the wind, I guess, the seeds spread and they just started growing and they're doing really well actually. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. So we're going to go to the back of the aquaponic system. This is the skeleton. The behind the scenes cut. Where the wires are. 
So this is how it looks. It actually looks pretty beautiful from underneath. Um, so you get some good shots. You can see pretty much my farm, my greenhouse, my garden, um, all my stuff. You get a better, better angle. There you got some lettuces, kales, uh, lemon spinach, um, more baby lemon spinach, baby kales, and I just got a few things growing up there. Probably gonna change it out to some more. I really like this kale. This kale tastes so good. Um, I've been eating it like crazy. All this has been picked by me, and I've just ate it straight from the garden, fresh. And uh, oh man. We have a few lettuces that grew. This is lettuce. That grew. These are actually dandelions, which are also really good for you. You can eat the leaves and the flowers. This is chia seed. Let me see if I have any seeds left. You see the little, oh, sorry. You see these little seeds right here? That's the chia seed. I don't know how they harvest it. It looks like too much work, so I'm not gonna even harvest it. I just buy some. And these were grown from just regular chia seed at the store. Um, just for fun, I was growing some. You could just throw them on the ground, they sprout really easy, just keep it wet. But look, these are other lettuces that grew. This is the lettuce too that grew. Oh, look, this one's gonna go to seed. So, I actually did really well here. Um, oh man, there's some more lettuces here. This is another lettuce. Wow. Now this is lettuce leaf, the, the one that starts with the L. Oh, this is really pretty. It actually grew really well here. Mmm. And it's delicious. So there's some succulents I'm growing. So I have all of this. And then I have a bottom rack. I could, oh sorry. I could put a shade like this. Say it's summertime, it gets way too hot. And the succulents don't like all that heat. And it could be right here get some shade and um, just grow I water them like once or twice a week depending on how hot it is and I think I can grow a lot of cool succulents microgreens even um, like in spring I could definitely grow some microgreens here really easily uh, perfect temperatures so that should be fun um, I even thought about putting quail quail cages in there so, and then having the poop fall down on some baking sheets so they could just uh, have eggs and then I can have fish. I had tilapia, uh, I harvested about six of them at least a pound each. Um, but they like warm water, so I'm gonna go with catfish this year. And they're more na they're native to our environment, so I'm gonna go with the catfish. And uh, yeah, so that should be good. Another edible species right now. I was doing like guppies and aquarium fish and minnows, and they've been working great. Um, they breed like crazy. And they're awesome they're easy to eat the bugs so i like those two i might stick with one of them and then the other one being just catfish oh and that's pretty much the update on the farm and thanks for watching guys that's pretty much it have a good day